HotWireFoamCutterInfo.com presents the Vertical Shaft End Cap Assembly. The Vertical Shaft End Cap Assembly is meant to be used as an alternative end cap for the medium-sized handheld foam cutter. This new design for the vertical shaft end cap assembly is much more easy to assemble in comparison to past designs. The stove bolt still extends through the entire end cap assembly, but you'll notice that the ring terminal is located outside of the end cap. This end cap assembly has all the same basic components as all other end cap assemblies. You'll require a single 10-24 stove bolt, where 10 corresponds to the internal diameter and 24 corresponds to the spacing of the threads. The recommended length of stove bolt is anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5 inches to make sure that you have enough space for all of your other components. You'll also need one ring terminal, two 10-24 full nuts, one 10-24 wing nut, and five number 10 washers. And not to forget that you'll need a PVC cap as well, either half inch or three quarters, depending on the diameter that you've chosen for your cutter. The first step, you'll have to take your stove bolt and PVC end cap and drill a hole so it can be mounted vertically. You'll need to choose a drill bit between 7 36ths and a 1 quarter bit. The idea is that you choose a drill bit that'll completely cover the threads of your 10-24 stove bolt. For protection, secure the end cap with a bench vise or a pair of vise grips. When drilling the hole, you'll want to stay as far forward as possible to maximize the amount of contact you have with the PVC support arms. Also, try to be as vertical as possible so that you can get your stove bolt to pass through the two holes easily and evenly. And be sure to reference the sequencing diagram for this next portion. We will also be using a previously made ring terminal and connection wire. Reference the website for additional videos. You'll need to start by putting on the washers and ring terminal before you attach the PVC end cap. The purpose of the washers is to help compress the ring terminal against the screw to achieve a good electrical connection. Once you're ready to put the screw through the end cap, depending on the size bit that you chose, it may be easier or harder to pass. This first hex nut will secure the stove bolt to the PVC end cap. Use a screwdriver and an adjustable wrench to tighten the stove bolt and hex nut together. Do not over tighten as it may compress the end cap which will make it difficult to sit on the PVC support arms. There's actually three different ways that you can assemble this end cap. The first one shown here is with an extension spring. This part is always a little tricky with the wing nut, but you can always supplement a hex nut if you want to. Similarly to the extension spring, this is the same assembly just with a figure of eight ring. The last option is placing the wire directly on the stove bolt. This may be ideal when you're using a larger gauge nichrome wire, closer to about a 20 to maybe a 16 gauge, which would be used for a rigid wire hot wire foam cutter.
And that's it for the vertical shaft end cap assembly. Thank you for watching and please check the website for additional information.